morning gorgeous people. So today I'm going to be trying to eat 3,000 calories in one day. So I'll explain later on why I'm trying to eat so many calories in one day, but first I'm just going to get started with my breakfast because I actually woke up like an hour ago, but I realized I didn't have any of the food that I needed for today. So I've just popped to the shops and got some things so I can finally get started. So usually I've been trying to start the day with hot water and lemon. It doesn't happen every day. We always like we often don't have lemons to be honest um, but I am trying I'm not going to pretend that I do it every day because I don't but I'm trying however today we, is one of those days where we don't have any lemons so instead I actually picked up some uh, kombucha from the supermarket while I was there uh, so this is organic kombucha a sparkling live cultured drink ginger lemon flavor I have no idea I'm not a kombucha drinker I don't know if I've ever tried kombucha I mean it's good for gut health and I'm a massive fan of probiotics so I don't know ginger lemon seems like a good alternative to lemon water so I think I'll just give that a go. It just tastes like a ginger drink. I don't know I, don't, I haven't really like you know when you have some kind of ginger drink to calm your stomach it just tastes like that but it has the citrusiness of a lemon. Always make sure you're using a reusable straw. Oh. Okay so let's make some actual food. So for my breakfast, I've decided to make a little kind of open grill. Pretty much every day my breakfast consists of some kind of toast. I always have some kind of toast, whether it's just like a toasted vegan cheese sandwich or like peanut butter on toast, like, I don't know, cashew cheese on toast. I always have some kind of toast for breakfast because it's just quick and easy. Today I've got a little bit more time, so I thought I'd just make like a bit of an open grill, which I used to love making these. So. I'm going to start with um, t lightly toasting two pieces of my bread. I've just got light rye bread. I don't know why. That's just what my family gets. I don't know if it's particularly good or anything. Um, so I'm going to lightly toast those two pieces of bread. And then I'm going to put tomato on one slice and half an avocado on the other slice. I'm trying to really up my fats. So avocado is really important for me. Um, and then I'm going to just lay some vegan cheese over the top and then put my oven on the grill setting and slide them on in and put them under until the cheese is melted and that's how I make a vegan open grill. So I'm going to be using chronometer to track. Uh, so I'm just going to add in the food. So I don't know if this kombucha will be on here. Oh, it is. Remedy Organic Kombucha. I don't know if you guys use chronometer. I used to use it heaps, but they often didn't have a lot of stuff on there, but it has been updated so well, and it has, like, everything I use is on there. I think it's got a lot more Australian brands now. Amazing. So I'm going to add that. So, so far we're at 580 calories, so close to 600, which is a start. Um, I'm definitely not going to be having just three meals. There's going to be a lot of snacking, so be prepared for that. So I'm, I'm wearing a top, don't worry. I just had to drop something off to Shan's work and she works at Cherry Darling. So of course I had to get a donut. Um, it is lunchtime, but I'm like half an hour away from home and I want to like make some stuff for lunch. So I'm going to have half the donut now to kind of like get me through until lunchtime. So I thought I would just, you know, film it now while I'm here to show you before I eat half of it as a snack. And I don't really know how to know how many calories are in this. I'm just going to in the calories of a donut because usually donuts are, are vegan anyway so I don't know I don't even know if I'm in focus right now my camera's autofocus is completely out but for lunch I've made one of my favorite things to make I loved making these when I was in Europe because I was obviously living by myself on a budget and I had no money and I just needed something really quick and easy and cheap to make. So this is what I had for lunch pretty much every day while I was over there. And so it's just kind of like a salad bowl, but it's like a... Like the, the salad is rice, not like lettuce. Um, so in today's salad bowl, I've got this coconut steamed basmati rice. I love these rices that have like coconut or chili. It's kind of more creamy rice, but you just chuck it in the microwave and it's still pretty cheap. Um, so I've got half a packet of that, I've got some spinach, I've chucked in some avocado, um, I've got some of the tofuti, it's like these little chicken pieces which I've cut up and put in just because I like a little bit of like meaty protein, it's like obviously vegan though. Um, I've got some sweet potato that I baked which I also kind of burnt 
and then I put tahini over the top and I kind of mix it with some water and some pepper just to like the water was to thin it out a bit but I did about three tablespoons of tahini because that again has some good fats which will help me with my weight gain um yeah so I'm gonna chuck that into chronometer so I've put my donut as about 500, uh, about 420 calories, I think. Um, and I put the whole donut into chronometer and I just, I'm going to like eat the other half later on. So we are currently at 2000 calories, obviously including half a donut that I haven't eaten yet, but 2000 calories and it's only 1 PM. So I've only, you know, I've managed to really eat heaps. So I'm going to eat my lunch and I'm finding this way easier than I thought it would be. So I'm actually just sitting down to film another video and I thought while I was here it'd be a good time to just sit and explain why I'm trying to eat 3,000 calories in one day and why I'm trying to gain more weight. So basically my weight has been so up and down over the past year. Um, I was, I always struggled with being very, very skinny. I just have a high metabolism. It's just how it always has been. My dad's the same. My brother's the same. Like it just runs in the family. So yeah, I always had been trying to gain weight when I was younger. Never could. I was always probably a little bit underweight, but like it's just how I was. I wasn't starving myself. I was eating like, trust me, I was eating a lot. So I was always trying to gain weight and it never worked. And then I went to Europe and I actually managed to put on 16 kilos, I think, in about four months, which at the time was like insane to me, the change in my body. Like, but I loved it I, in the end. Like I, I was so, I was happy. I mean, I'm happy. It's really hard. It's hard to accept your body. Like I, I had accepted that I was going to be skinny no matter how much. Like when I was younger, I got bullied for it and you know, you always hear the like real men want curves kind of stuff that goes around. And I think on that, my only thing I can say is that I'm all for body positivity, but body positivity is not putting one type down to bring another up, if you know what I mean. Like, can we not just accept all bodies? <laughs> Otherwise, it's not really body positivity. It's kind of bullying. But anyway, no, it was 18 kilos I gained. I went from like 43 kilos to 61 kilos. Um, and the only thing I can attribute really to it is that when I was away, I was drinking an really unhealthy amount of alcohol. I was in Europe, I was on exchange, I was getting drunk every single day and I was drinking so much alcohol and alcohol is empty carbs. It's a lot of sugar and calories and I just put on the weight because of that and it, it was not really much to do with diet I don't think because my diet didn't change all that dramatically when I went over there. Like I've always eaten whatever I feel like eating. Like if I want Maccas I'm going to get Maccas. I've never... <laughs> not done that so I put on the 16 kilos and I was happy you know my boobs had grown a bit um, I had to throw out so much clothes because I went up like two three clothing sizes which I was happy about though I was fine with it I was happy I was getting more compliments than ever um, and I was trying so hard to keep it on but the problem was it was the alcohol and as soon as I got home and stopped drinking every single day and went back to you know only drinking on weekends, the weight just started falling off. Obviously drinking every single day is not a sustainable lifestyle. Um, I haven't completely lost the weight. The weight loss has definitely slowed down. I'm still 50 kilos now, which is eight, seven or eight kilos more than I was when I left for Europe, but it's 10 kilos less than when I got home seven months ago. So, you know, I think I've kind of stopped and I'm going to stay around 50 kilos, but I wouldn't mind getting back up to like 55. So that's just kind of my little explanation of why I'm doing this um, and why I'm trying to gain weight because I figured you may have a few questions about my reasoning behind and that is it. So, so hot today outside. It's like 35 degrees Celsius. Just about to sit down and edit some videos. So I figured I would make myself a really nice cold smoothie. So to be honest, I'm a little bit snacky after lunch. I'm going to make a smoothie. Um, I'm going to chuck in some banana. I think I've got like three mini bananas because that's all that the supermarket had that were like ready. So I don't know how many normal size that that equates to. I've got some frozen mango, I'm going to chuck in some spinach, some coconut water, please hydrate me, oh my gosh. I 
And um, I'm not going to chuck this in this time, but I just wanted to mention these because um, I think they're really cool. These are from Audi, and they're just like little smoothie Super Bowl things. I've only got a chocolate one left, like it's like cacao and maca, so I don't really want to add that in. I feel like it might be a little bit too chocolatey for what I'm going for, like mango and banana and chocolate. I don't know, but I just wanted to mention them because they're like cheap and they're from Audi and so if you're looking, um, they also have an acai one and like a greens one. I am going to make myself my little smoothie and edit some videos. So for dinner, mum just made us a stir fry and so that was actually pretty low calorie because it was just about a third of a packet of that microwave rice and then there was like veggies and some, the kind of like the fake meat, like the soy soy strips I guess. Um, I looked at the packet and obviously they were not on my app but with the rice and then adding that in I was around like 2,600 calories I think. And so to finish off the night I'm just having a little snack. I've got five dates with some ABC spread in it so the dates actually added on a ton. They were like another 300 calories. I didn't realize dates had so much. And then um, the ABC spread, of course, is quite good as well. It's about 177. All up at the moment, I'm at about just under 3,000. And I'm just going to finish off with a glass of wine while I watch some TV. So I'm going to add in my glass of wine and see if that gets me over the line. We're at about 3,100. So that is really exciting. I managed to reach my goal of eating 3,000 calories. And it's not been that hard at all so i really hope you guys found this video informative helpful or interesting in some way um let me know if you want to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow my instagram and i will see you guys next time bye